Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the effect of scaling the thickness of the interconnect and oxide thickness by a factor of s. In the previous clip we have already seen the effect on tau which was equal to r line into c line when we scale down our interconnect width and our interconnect length. Here we are going to keep the interconnect length and the interconnect width not to be scaled down or we'll just presume that there is a variation or the scaling has happened only on the thickness of the interconnect and the thickness of the oxide. So let's get started. As I mentioned, my T dash will be T by S and my T O X dash would be T O X by S where S is a scaling factor which is greater than 1. So we can say that my T dash is less than T and my T O X dash is less than T O X. Now due to this we want to find the value of our tau which is equal to R line into C line. Let's quickly do that. Sheet resistance we know is given by rho by t. This is the resistivity which is constant, no change. This I know t has got reduced by a factor of s. So r s dash would be nothing but s into rho by t because if I do this, a simplified step is nothing but rho dash into t dash. This is constant, does not change and t dash is nothing but t by s. This is exactly what I have done. So I understand that my sheet resistance increases by a factor of s. My line resistance per unit length r is given by rs by w. rs has increased by a factor of s which we have written here and w does not change in this example. We have presumed that w is not scaled down. That means that my r dash increases by a factor of s. My r line which is given by r into l which is given by r dash into L dash if I'm finding R dash line. So this increases by a factor of S and L dash is also not scaled. So that is L. So what can I say is my R dash line increases by a factor of S when I scale down my thickness of my interconnect and when I scale my oxide thickness. Let's see it similarly for C line as well. So we have already seen this in the previous clip that capacitance is given by the following formula. Now we are ignoring fringing field so this term is ignored. Only this term is present. We know that with this not changed thickness oxide, oxide thickness is reduced by a factor of s. So if I divide by s, s will go up. That means my c dash would be s times c. Correct? It's nothing but c dash equal to permittivity into 1.15. S W by T O X. So it increases by a factor of S. That is what I have done here. C line is given by C into L. L does not change. C increases by a factor of S. So it's nothing but C S into C into L. That means that my C line also increases by a factor of S. So total tau is nothing but R line increasing by a factor of S and C line increasing by a factor of S. So my delay is increased by S square. So reducing the thickness T and the oxide thickness has the undesirable effect, correct? Because both of them lead to longer delays. So we should not reduce our thickness of the interconnect and the oxide thickness. On the contrary, we must try to increase it so that my small r and my small c would be smaller which will reduce the delay, correct? Finally, let's see what's happening to the coupling capacitance because of interconnect scaling. Where is the coupling capacitance present? We know that if there are two interconnects and they are separated a distance of S, then between them there is a coupling capacitance which is nothing but given by CC. So I'm presuming that the spacing between the two interconnects is reduced by a factor of S, correct? So S dash scaling effects on coupling capacitance is what we are trying to see. Why we are trying to see this? Because from that we can predict what will happen in crosstalk. And S dash is nothing but S by S where this S is nothing but my scaling factor and this S is nothing but the spacing between the lines which is now represented as S dash which is S by S. So I have written the formula for coupling capacitance on the screen. We have seen that the T, the TOX, the W and all these parameters currently are not getting varied. Only S is getting varied. So if you substitute S CC dash write the same equation put s equal to s dash and put s dash equal to capital s by small s what you will get is nothing but cc dash is directly proportional to 1 by s capital s that is raised to 1.34 
this clearly shows that decreasing s increases the coupling capacitance so this was the effect of interconnect scaling on the coupling capacitance or reducing the spacing between two interconnects leads to increase in the coupling capacitance which might lead to problems during crosstalk which we have already seen hope you have followed this concept of interconnect scaling stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much